The other day I was playing some Battlefield 5 on the normal Conquest map rotation and we were having quite a bit of fun, myself and the squad, you know, just jumping in, playing a bit of Battlefield on a weekend. You don't really expect much when you jump into Battlefield 5, it's just fun playing a game with friends. And I was playing a bit of infantry, a bit of tanking, a bit of planes, you know, I just like to play the whole thing. It came to Hamada though, and Hamada's one of those maps that really divides opinion on Battlefield 5. Surprisingly, some people do really enjoy it, but I think a lot of people vote it as their worst map on the game, the one they dislike the most. And it really caused me an issue. So as I said, I was playing on the server, everything was fine. Hamada came up, and half of the server, at least half of the server, just instantly quit. Now with team balance in Battlefield 5, it's really difficult to find a game that actually rolls over to the next map and sticks with a full team on either side. And then it's even rarer to find one that's fairly well balanced. And Hamada's one of those maps that just adds another problem to the mix as people quit when they see it appear. Whether it's on Breakthrough, whether it's on Conquest. To be honest, it's not too bad on Squad Conquest or some of these smaller modes, but for Conquest, everybody just quits. Now, is that because it's a really big battlefield map and people have gone off the idea of these large-scale battlefield maps? I don't think that's the case. Is it because it's a badly designed map? That has to have something to do with it. Hamada is not ideal. There are some flags which are okay. The part that you play Squad Conquest on is fairly interesting. It's got some solid cover, some verticality, and it's quite a nice environment to be in. But for the most part, Hamada is really open with very little cover, lots of vehicles, and can be very frustrating to play. It got me thinking, is this something DICE need to address in the next Battlefield game? Do they need to take a look at these larger scale maps and really work out how to bring back that all-out war feeling in Battlefield? Could it be just the vehicles in Battlefield 5 don't lend themselves to very nice gameplay? They're very frustrating to play against as most things are at range, Tanks are incredibly powerful offensively, not so strong defensively, therefore they camp. It's a bit rubbish really having to have tank battles at range when tanks take 10 hits each to die. The whole thing just lends itself to frustrating gameplay. When it does come to the next Battlefield game though, I really want DICE to go back to Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 with big maps. I want to have modes maybe with smaller areas of the maps utilised or potentially the odd small close quarter map for infantry focused gameplay but for the most part i want fairly big maps that is what battlefield is about that is why i play battlefield over other fps games big all-out war with tanks with air vehicles with naval warfare and then infantry fighting alongside them it's really really fun i think dice missed a trick with battlefield 5 and world war 2 it's not exactly a war that leaves you kind of stuck for choices. So much happened in the Second World War and this is all they could come up with. I guess they wanted to showcase some of those unforeseen battles with North Africa being something that, sure, everyone knows about it, but have we seen it that much in video games? Probably not. I think really though, Africa is something that they really could have done a better job with. With some of the concept art, we actually saw the Italians lined up for Battlefield Five, and we haven't seen them. I don't know a whole lot about the Italian involvement in the war, but what I do know is that they were majorly involved in World War II. They're not one of these minor factions that didn't do anything. They have a big history that needs to be told, and I feel as if it's the responsibility of somebody making a World War II game to try and include them. There are many factions out there, many countries that won't be represented in Battlefield V. It's impossible to include everybody, I think, really, realistically. However, Italy... If you're playing in North Africa, as we are in Battlefield, maybe I'm wrong with the context and historically where we are and whether the Italians were involved, but I'd have loved to see them, especially as they were part of that concept art when the idea for Battlefield 5 appeared. So moving on from Hamada, it didn't really go too well for me on there. As you saw from the gameplay in the background, I was just shooting into their base. And we're on to Panzerstorm. Panzerstorm is... A slightly better map than Hamada, and hear me out for this, because a lot of people think that Panzerstorm is a terrible map. It does what it's supposed to do. A lot of people wanted a map with lots of tanks, not very much infantry gameplay, close quarters on flags, long-range tank battles like a tank superiority, a couple of planes, a huge map for fighting. And the people that wanted that got exactly 
their wish. You know, they got a massive map. It's absolutely huge, Panzerstorm. It takes a long time to traverse to get from flag to flag. There are loads of tanks everywhere. And for the most part, it could be really, really good. There's one big thing that lets it down, though, as it's meant for tank gameplay. It's the tanks. The tanks are really, really rubbish in Battlefield 5. You start shooting somebody in the distance and you do so little damage, even if you get a nice angle on them, they can quick repair, they can get out of there, and they can, even with all of the problems with tanks, usually escape if you're fighting them at range. This means you have to gang up on tanks and just the whole aspect of it isn't as fun as I really hoped. I went back and played some Battlefield 4 just focusing on the tanking the other day and I've made the video on it so you may have seen it or it might be queued up to come out later in the week. But uh, tanking in Battlefield 4 is just so far ahead of Battlefield 5 so if you really are into your tanking go back and try and tank in BF4 and learn the ways to tank back there. It's so much better. But yeah, I'm using the Valentine here as I usually do. Pull out those mine clearers, drop them on an enemy tank if you can get close enough. It's still the most satisfying thing to do in Battlefield 5, I feel, in the tanks, that and the 38T or the Staghound for some fast-paced tanking. And again, it brings back this point, should DICE go for these large-scale maps in the next game? I really think they should, but they definitely have to improve the way that they work. A good example of a large-scale map that works, if we go back and look at Battlefield 4... And this is kind of as big as I want a map to be. Caspian Border, obviously a Battlefield 3 map ported over to Battlefield 4. And Firestorm, a Battlefield 3 map ported over to Battlefield 4. Both play better on Battlefield 3, I think. Maybe Caspian Border plays better for some people on BF4 because of the introduction of that wall, which some people love, some people hate. But for me, those are two big battlefield maps that do everything they are the maps that dice need to look at and think this is what people want sure they're not as big as panzer storm but for the most part caspian border is really really big you don't really need a map any larger than that it takes a long time to get across it but at the same time you have really interesting flags as an infantry player you can spend the entire time on the center of the map where you can even go underground so there's some nice close quarters aspects to the map but then you've got the long range and large scale tanking aspect to it with the air vehicles sure you don't have any naval combat which is pretty cool in bf4 but you don't need it there's so much going on and it's not frustrating playing firestorm or caspian border it's not one of those maps that you play and think i'm only dying to tanks maybe on bf3 on firestorm you did a little bit and maybe to the attack heli now and then but for the most part bar a bit of poor balancing the maps themselves were so much fun and every time I play BF5, I get this sour taste that I could be playing Battlefield 3 and 4, which is just a better game. Interestingly, in Battlefield 5, and I'm not sure if this is the same for any of you guys, but my KD as an infantry player is far higher than it was in Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, and Battlefield 1. It's not that I'm a better player or anything, I think I'm pretty much the same player. I go back and play BF3 and 4 and 1 from time to time. It's just the game lends itself to the sort of gameplay where you can get revived a lot and maybe the player base isn't as good as they really used to be. Maybe there are far more unexperienced players on Battlefield. My vehicle KD is also fairly similar, which is pretty weird to think. I complain about vehicles all the time in Battlefield 5, but it has nothing to do with the kill streaks. It has nothing to do with the power of the vehicles. If I'm in a plane, I absolutely dominate infantry. There's absolutely no chance for them. If I'm in a JU-88, I can flatten a flag and kill everybody on it. It's not difficult. It's just not satisfying. It's not rewarding. There's nothing really fun about it. You can't dogfight a player. If you come up against someone who's as skillful as you, there's nothing you can do to really duel them. It's the same in tanks. It's more who shot first, who has the resupply station closer to them, who got lucky with some cover that can't just be destroyed really easily. It's quite annoying, to be honest, in Battlefield 5. Maybe you'll agree with me, maybe you won't. But I think this video was a good opportunity just to kind of ramble a bit about the larger maps and the vehicle gameplay and how it just isn't as satisfying as it probably should be. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the gameplay as well. I was dominating on Panzerstorm in this Valentine, just flying around, smashing stuff with the mine clearers and this massive £6 cannon on the front of the tank. I think it's a £6 cannon. It's the upgrade from the £2 one. So it's quite powerful, does a lot of damage to enemy armour, and obviously the splash is enough to destroy infantry as well. So thanks for watching this one. A bit of a rambling video with a bit of gameplay in the background. If you did enjoy, leave a like. If you didn't, 
feel free to leave a dislike and more importantly what you think of the vehicle gameplay in Battlefield. Do you think Hamada is ruining the game? I personally think it does. Get it out of the rotation, keep the servers more healthy. Or do you think it's down to bigger problems like team balance, cheaters and other things like that? Thanks for watching guys, I'll wrap this up here and I'll catch you in the next video.